Andrew Vibe Guy. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, y'all? I've got Hayden, and Ken Paxton's got trouble. What is today, the 9th? February 9th? Yeah, today's the 9th. Hayden and I have got all his crap, all stuffed in the back. We're headed back to Odessa. This is really, 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 really surreal for me. I'm so happy to have you. 150 trips from Odessa to San Antonio. A two month stay at the Hector County Jail courtesy of Judge Rex. It's crazy. crazy. My wallet going I couldn't even hardly, I couldn't pay shit, I couldn't pay attention. And now, it's all over. It's done. Bye San Antonio, I love y'all. No, except for SAPD, don't really like y'all. Y'all threw my other son in jail. Next hospital, and pumped him full of drugs. Are you gonna hold on to this for a minute? Yeah, sure. Anybody's got any questions? <laughs> we'll be calling you. Hi. Uh, what did they call you? Jimmy Neutron last time? Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> yeah, I got roasted pretty bad. Yeah, you're pretty good. Bad, but it's fine. I don't take it seriously. Like, I don't ever take my service seriously. I just I'm seriously, in, I'm I seriously in, a, in a fight with Ken Paxton. Only oh, yeah. because he picked it. I just happened to hit back a little bit. Wait, can you like, discuss about this? Like, what's your plan? Or can you discuss about that? I can discuss some of it, not all of it. Yeah. I've got right. my opinions on how messed up the family court system is. Uh -huh. I've come to realize that the way I see it should be in all cases in Texas or anywhere, but... I intend on help changing how it is in Texas. In all divorces, you split up the assets, you split up the debts, and kids, it's 50-50 by default. No money changes hands by force. One parent's doing better and wants to help the other one, great. If they don't, then they've got their time, 50% of the time. The other parent, assuming that the parents aren't you know, having needles hanging out their arm and or raging alcoholics. Assuming they're both good parents, regardless what they think of each other, 50% of the time, whether it's two weeks on, two weeks on, or a week and a week, whatever, at least in the beginning. And then you let the children decide what is best for them. And that sounds that's totally backwards to how it is now. And it's going to upset some people, but... Caleb, it can't be that way because he's a douchebag. He'll never pay me. Well, what are you doing sleeping with douchebags? Well, she's a bitch. She'll never give my kids. Well, why'd you sleep with a bitch? The way it is right now, there, this system has made an, an entitlement class where having a child or multiple children is a career move. I just have a bunch of kids. He's going to have to pay me one way or the other. I don't do much for it. The Attorney General's office will go after him or her for me. One hundred and fifty trips, San Antonio. <sighs> it's unbelievable. And it's finally over. Fought like hell to get Parker. Fought like hell to get Blaine. And it cost me a whopping maybe hundred dollars in gas to come get you. We mutually agreed. They're moving. I'm not going to say where they're moving, but they're moving further, which is perfectly fine. I asked London where she wanted to live, and I knew the answer. She still wants to live with her mama. And at her young, tender age, she needs to live with her mama.
if you've got primary custody of any of your kids or all of your kids and the other one mom or dad doesn't matter is a good parent and you know that child wants to live with that other parent regardless of what you think of him you're not doing yourself or that child any favors by using your children as weapons you're not doing anybody any good I encourage everyone who's in a, a, a divorce. All divorces are, are most are nasty. They're hurt. Every there's hurt feelings. There's people cheat and people do bad things, and that doesn't make them bad parents necessarily. There you go. Now we got a witch. If you know your child wants to live with the other parent, regardless of your opinion of that parent, you ought to let that child live where they want to live. And now, the fun stuff. I am currently planning on hosting an epic loss party for Ken Paxton at Dick's Last Resort in San Antonio on November the 6th, I believe, is Super Tuesday, where we're going to walk around live streaming, telling the dastardly deeds of the deadbeat Attorney General Ken Paxton and get the reaction from the professional waitresses and waiters at Dick's Last Resort. In the meantime, yours truly, little old me, little old notorious dad, Caleb Leverett, I'm going to have the most jolly time the rest of this year actively campaigning for the epic loss of re-election of the deadbeat Attorney General, Mr. Ken Paxton. Now, Ken... I'll do you a solid if you give me a public, formal apology for stealing my bank account right before Christmas, making you my own personal Grinch. I will not. I will call off the humiliating party that is currently being planned at Dick's Last Resort. Now, the damage is done, Ken. I will still, I'm going, whether you apologize and acknowledge my on existence at all or anything, I'm still act actively campaigning against you. In fact, we're in the middle of forming a PAC, non-profit, not sure exactly about how the details are going to work, where people who don't like you can, can anonymously donate and help fund the effort to make sure that everybody knows you're under a federal gr or a grand jury indictment on three counts of you being a fraud. That you seized the bank account of someone like me, who at the time just didn't have the money. My only fault is I didn't have the money. So that's in the works. But yeah, the damage is done, Ken. You've done, you've gone too far, and you pissed me off is what you did. We were the kids' mom and I were this we were this close. To, to, and we are. We worked it out with, with or without your help, Ken. We've worked it out. What's what's in the past is in the past. But your election, your re-election, Ken, is coming up. And I'm going to make sure everybody, every single voter in Texas, knows what you've done and who you are. So, Ken, give me a formal public apology and unfreeze my bank account, and I won't have. I will not host. The humiliating party at Dick's Last Resort. But no matter what you do, acknowledge me or not, I'm still going to actively campaign because you, sir, are unfit to be in office. Oh, I feel so much better. How about you? Got anything out of that, Henny? <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't really want to get in the middle of this. It's chill, <laughs> so yeah, Hanan's going to be enrolled on Monday at my alma mater, Permian High School. For those of you that don't know, if you've ever seen the movie Friday Night Lights with Billy Bob Thornton, that is where the movie was made. They're at Rattle Stadium in Odessa, Texas. So Hayden's going to be the first of my kids to go there. And Blaine will be joining him next year. So, kind of excited about that. Go Mojo, man. I didn't really like high school that well, but 
that's another topic. I think it's kind of cool. Your granddad went there too. Really? Mm -hmm. Shane went there class of 72 or 3, I think. Uh, I was class of 1995. Anyway, I don't know, does anybody have questions or anything? Have you been reading or no? Um, everybody says it's frozen. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe it is frozen. I don't know. Well, we can go ahead and get off here. I just, I got out my two cents about the deadbeat Attorney General Ken Paxton. Ooh, somebody's really loving us right now. Who is that? It's like faces, or I don't know, scream faces, laugh faces, laughy faces, yes, emojis. Oh, so, yeah, that's that's about no. my soapbox. No. The way it ought to be they in Texas, us. who they see us. Oh, they see us now, yeah, great. 50 50 ought to be just default. No yeah. money is forced to exchange, should be that way. I think Texans, we're all, inherently, we've got this, we're independent, we're the Lone Star State. Well, we need to right. get back to a system of not having so many dependents. Just squirting out babies, collecting checks, oh yeah, the AG will go after them for us. Hello. Sorry. No, you're fine. I was talking to the chat. Oh, what does chat say? Hello. I see me. I'm Watch still it from Australia. Floating. Australia, cool. Who is it? Uh, Nicole Fox. Nicole Fox from Australia. There's a lot of. I got a lot of Facebook friends from Australia. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be on YouTube once so, uh, I get home. And as things progress with the PAC political action committee or whatever, it's, whatever they're called. Uh, more details will be put out. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm finally on Steam It. I admittedly was a very, very hard critic of Steam It when it first came out a couple, three years ago. Only because so many people just writing crap. I don't know. The more I get to know it, the more I like it. I'm starting to understand it a little more. I've, I've put out two little Steam It articles. Uh, you want to get involved in the Steema community, that's kind of the next generation of a time cryptocurrency and social media. So we'll have more details on the pack or the, I don't know how it's going to exactly be organized. My goal is A, make sure Ken Paxton loses and B, find Texans or even people outside the state of Texas that were in the situation that my family and I were in in the years past, I'd have given anything. I was this close to being homeless for just someone help me out with the rent. I mean, or some, just something. I want to be able to do that. Single mothers or single fathers that are struggling, that just need just a little, just a just a little push to get them up. That's what I want the foundation or the whatever we're going to call it. So if you got any ideas for said foundation or said pack, uh, let me know in the comment section. I think that'd be really cool. Good ideas. Other ideas. Um, what you got? I'm saying hi all over the world. Oh. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really Australia. Cool. That's far away. We need to plan a trip to Australia. Want to go sometime? Yeah, nothing to Yeah. Okay, y'all can make fun of my my, my want to be Australian accent. Fresh in the outback. <laughs> um, Remember off Dumb and Dumber? Uh, what does he say? Put another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> Jim Carrey, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know Jim Carrey. <laughs> I don't remember that scene. Um, um, I want to go to Australia. I want to go to Ireland, and I want to go to Scotland, and I want to go to England. Dubai. And I want to go to uh, Sweden and Norway. Dubai. 
I don't know about Dubai. Maybe. They're real strict on some things. I don't, I don't I'll, know. I'll have to do some. They've got some really cool Red Bull commercials come out of Dubai. I know that. Yeah. Maybe we can um, do some rocket, rocket flying backpack jetpacks or something in Dubai. Oh, like those water jetpack things? Yeah. You say you want to try that out before you die. Yeah. Kind of a bucket list. Yeah, thing. bucket list. What's the country just east of Norway? Help me out here. Uh, I just had a brain fart. Brain flatulence. I can't think of it. <laughs> I'm going to get laughed in the comment section, I'm sure. It'll be I don't know. Oh, that's not it. But yeah, I wanna, I'd love to go all those European right. countries. Um... That's all I Hayden, got. Hayden, tell your dad you want a German Shepherd. A German Shepherd? For one. I, I don't know. That's just what they said. Right now, we don't have room for a German Shepherd. We've got the two kitties. We've got to have some more kitties. All right, let me, let me catch up in the comments. Uh, hey, Caleb. How does it feel to have all the boys under one roof? LOL. Uh, I'm still floating. Actually, get this. Parker's grown now. I just talked to Parker a while ago. He's moving back to San Antonio because he just got a job in San Antonio. Well, I think that's cool. He's his own man. He can do his own thing. Tell Dad and answer questions. All right. Okay. All sorry. Right. Sorry. All right. Unbox a kangaroo. Uh, I love when Americans try to do our accent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hillbillies going Australian. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> well, well, what are more questions? I don't tell me. Uh, I'll shut up. I'll answer the questions. I was trying to do like a, an Australian accent. It's actually 3 a.m. here. Oh crap, Nicole, it's late. Hi from Louisiana. Not far from old Texas, but. Hi, neighbor. Who's that? Justin Blaine East. I know who that is. Bring me my camera. Um, yeah. Is that it on the comment section? Yeah. All right, well, I guess peace, love, nonviolent parenting. Consider not hitting your kids, even though it makes you mad when I say that. Are you mad? Yeah, I guess end it. Love y'all. No way. Huh? Do y'all have any more questions before we end the stream? There you go. You take over, Amy. Do a Scottish accent. Um, I can't. I'm just going to humiliate myself. You sound like Shrek. Shrek? Is, that, is, that, is he Scottish? You look like a baby. You look like a baby. Get in my belly. Get in my belly! <laughs> I don't know. Blaine loves calling me Faja. Faja? Off of Goldfinger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, not Faja. You mean Father. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Caleb bring boys to Canada. You would Which have a glass up here. Which part of Canada? Congratulations, Caleb. So happy for you. Things have changed since we've talked. What a glad to see you enjoy life. Thank you, Cap. We need to catch up. You're so good at this. I am? Yes, you're really? very good at this. <laughs> By the way, you got the coolest dad ever. Yeah, I mean, he's all right. I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, I know, I know. You can bust my balls, I'll bust your balls too. <laughs> Do a Japanese accent. Um, Shit, shitty pot down. <laughs> oh, hey bro, welcome to Shitty Bro. Can I take your order? Got shitty chicken, shitty shrimp. <laughs> Shitty fried shrimp. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, hair brown. Hair brown, that's Korean. That's oh, I don't know. I don't know my accents. 
besides me, of course. Caleb, I'm glad you have your wings now. Hayden, how is it living with that? Um, don't even know I, yet. Yeah, I mean, we'll find last out. Last time I, last time we actually lived with the child was 2007. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a year, long ten and a half years ago. It's crazy. I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a new experience. It's gonna be different, but like in a good way, obviously. Yeah. Let's see how we go. Big up, guys. Wait, big up, guys. Thank you. Uh, where would you like to visit in Australia? I am so ignorant of Australia, I really don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't know. As much as I can. Is that a good answer? I would love to go to the UK, anywhere in the UK, uh, Justin. Wayne's Scottish for kids. Ew. Cool. I can learn something new every day. I'm with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm catching up, guys. Oh. What time is it there? 10.55 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Awesome. We have a lot to do here too. Hey, what's up, Amanda? Um, yes, that's it. That's it. Catch you on the flip side. All right. Let me know about how the battle of Kin Paxi goes. Yeah. I don't know how it ended. Hope y'all have a great day, and peace out.